Hello everyone. So we are uh, back again and in this uh, video we are going to solve one problem where we are calculating the ampere terms causing demagnetization and cross magnetization. So you see the question on your screen. So this is example 27.3a uh, from the book Electrical Technology Volume 2 by B.L. Tereja. The, in the description you will find the details of the book. I am just solving the problem from that book. So let's look at the question. So a four pole wave wound motor. So, so P equal to four. Now in a wave wound motor, the number of parallel paths will be two. So for a lap winding, the number of parallel paths will be equal to the number of poles and for a wave winding, there will be two parallel paths. Uh, how do you remember this? It's a small trick. So if you look at the word wave, so it has two uh, sharp edges, so you can consider it as two parallel paths. If you look at lap, so it has P in it, so that P signifies that uh, the parallel path is equal to the number of poles. So A equal to P, something like that. So it's just a trick to remember. Uh, but then you want to really understand what is wave winding, what is lap winding. Uh, it is quite a involved uh, topic about you know how to wind the armature of a machine. So whenever we time, have time, we might look at it in a different video. All right, let's come back here. Has armature 880 conductors? So Z equal to 880. The brushes have been displaced through three angular degrees from geometrical. So theta m equal to three degrees. Calculate demagnetizing ampere. Very simple. So ampere turns causing demagnetization per pole is equal to. So remember in our previous video we just uh, solved that. So this is the formula for that and I'll just copy that here. So Z I theta M by 360 degrees. So this is uh, the ampere turns causing demagnetization per pole. So Z is 880. Uh, by the way, what is I? I is the current per conductor. So how do you get the current per conductor? This is nothing but total armature current divided by number of parallel paths. So total armature current given in the question as 120 amperes. So I get here uh, into 120 divided by 2 into 3 degrees divided by 360. So I think I can do it by hand. So 12 threes is 36 and then 3 3 will cancel and then 2 divided by this is 440. So 440 ampere turns. So this is the first answer. So here let's say answer is 440 ampere turns. Now cross magnetizing ampere turns again that is very easy. So ampere turns uh, cross magnetizing per pole. So already we had just derived the formula in our previous video. So I just copy that formula here. So this is Zi. So 1 by 2 P minus theta M by 360 degrees. So we know everything in this. So 880 into 120 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 into 4 because the 4 pole machine minus 3 by 360. So let's use calculator to do this. So I go to calculator. So first I calculate 3 divided by 360. So I get some value minus 0 0.00833 and 1 by 1 by 8. Okay. So I just assign a minus sign to this and then add. So 1 by 8 is 1 by 8. I think it is 0.125. I just did a mental calculation of it. So let's do that. Plus 0.125. So I get this number. And then multiplied by 120. Multiplied by 880 and then divide by 2. So I get 6160. So that is the calculation ampere turns. So ampere turns causing sorry 80. Let me write it here. 
gross magnetizing amplitance is 6.0. So this is another answer here. Now the next question is additional field current for neutralizing the demagnetizing effect. Now the idea is there is a north pole and then there is a shunt field winding. Now in this some shunt current is flowing. Okay? So I want to have some additional turns in that. So first of all uh, what about the shunt current? I am just trying to see shunt current. I think there is some problem with the question. I will just uh, get back to this. The idea is if there is what are the additional ampere turns required? Oh, additional field current for neutralizing demagnetizing effect if there are 110 turns in the shunt field winding. I think with the information it is difficult to solve. So we will leave it at here. This part I will get back in a different video. So to revise it is very simple. I just uh, use the formulas which we, divide, which we derived earlier and then simply substituted the numbers into it. This is how we calculate the ampere turns. Uh, 